Hello and welcome back to another Yellow Case tutorial. I want to show you a little very useful tip here on how to change the icon that is attached to your file. For example, you'll notice I have three files on my desktop. The top two are PDFs and the bottom one is a numbers file. By numbers I mean the Apple application called Numbers. It's the equivalent or competition to Excel. Um, you'll notice they look very similar. Uh, not just the two PDFs, of course, those two icons are the same, but even the numbers chart doesn't look all that different when you're scanning through 50 of them. Now, this one, the one I have highlighted and my cursor on currently, is my price chart for yellow case printing services. So we, uh, we have a, a fine art print shop here in Dallas, and uh, I go to this chart probably 100 times a day. So how do I find this easily among the thousands of files that I have in a folder, perhaps? So what I want to do first is find the icon or the graphic that I want to place here. And in my case, I want it to be my logo. So I'm going to go to Adobe Illustrator where I've created uh, a vector file of my logo. Uh, you'll notice that there's some text in the bottom for yellow case, uh, a digital imaging company. I don't want to include that. I'm just going to select the actual logo and go to the top, go to edit, copy. I can then close or minimize that and I'm going to go back here and select the file that I want to modify. Select it and either right click and select get info or go to the top of your screen select file get info. Either one will do the same thing. So I'll select that. I'm going to move it aside here so you can see. I'm going to set it side by side in fact. Now you'll notice there's a little icon here next to the name of the file in this case price chart. When I click on it you'll notice a little blue highlight around it. Once that's highlighted go to edit paste on the top menu bar and what you'll notice is the icon changes. Now I'm going to close this and that file is going to be a heck of a lot easier to find. And you can get really creative. You can make all different icons for different important files. Let's say you have four or five files that you go to constantly. Well, make them really easy to find. So this is a way to do it. I hope this helps. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.